What can a 15-year-old teach us about the prison system? I bet you just want a normal dad like your friends and not a distant stranger in jail years after years. In the case of Henny Fenlon, a lot. When I get out, Letters from her father, Robert. It was never your mummy's fault why I chose drugs over you two. Make, I made a life-changing mistake with a drug so dangerous. It's ruined years and years of my life. And the sooner I open up to people, the sooner I can make a new fresh start of my life. Missiles from the cycle of life in and out of prison. Theft and burglary to fuel addiction. Addiction to numb abuse. In March this year, he took his own life at Woodhill Prison. His second attempt there. Well, I'm going to go now, Babs. Be good for your mum, please. And be nice to her. And don't be cheeky. Love you, Daddy. Today, a select committee report into the state of our prisons points to our prisons in a state. Deaths inside have jumped from 181 three years ago to nearly 300. Within that, suicides dramatically up to 100 last year. There were six homicides. Assaults in prison over three years have also rocketed from just over 14,500 to over 20,000. It's prison officers on the front line. This graph tells you all you need to know about the spike in assaults on staff. There's a potential powder keg sitting here that we need to uh, address very quickly. The fact that the um, uh, tactical response group, which is the, the group that's brought in on a national basis to individual prisons where the local um, arrangements can't cope, the fact that that has doubled uh, its use per month over the last year, up to about 30 to 40 a month, that's a lot. Robert Fenland's death included in the report's figures. His inquest imminent. He is the 12th Woodhill prisoner in Milton Keynes since 2013 to die in this way. But if you had the governor of that prison sitting here now with you, what kind of conversation would you have? What would you be saying to him? God, go mad. I'd say you need to look after the prisoners better. And if they're feeling down, get them to talk to someone. Put them on a suicide watch. Watch them 24-7. Because it's not them that have to deal with everything at the end of the day, it's me. I'm the only thing really is left behind. A recent inspector's report found real improvements overall at Woodhill, but identified a problem with how it tackled its suicide rate, particularly with prisoners on remand awaiting trial. If the situation in our prisons is a powder keg, the ingredients, difficulty retaining staff and the smuggling in of synthetic cannabis like spice and black mamba. The Ministry of Justice acknowledged the findings of today's report and pointed to Michael Gove's draft penal reform bill, which will feature in the Queen's speech this week. That's on Wednesday. This is today. I never think, thought that I would have picking up my dad's ashes. Henny and her aunt arrive at the funeral directors this evening. This is a complicated journey. The people her father robbed to buy drugs, victims. The daughter he left behind, ditto. The question, to what extent was Robert Fenlon a victim too?